Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matthew Boyle from languagecardgames.com and in today's video I'm going to be focusing on my top three reasons why I think you should consider using one of my card games to help you take your language abilities to the next level. And the first one is that these card games will help you unlock the power of social learning. If you've ever been in a very effective classroom, you will know that teachers tend to put students into small groups uh, and they will mix those groups up from time to time. And the reason is that um, when you do that, the students will be compelled to communicate with different types of students who are at different levels and who know different types of things. And there is a net result that everybody has something to gain in that type of situation. That's the same philosophy that's behind the use of these card games that I'm making. I want you to take these card games around and use them with different types of people from different backgrounds at different levels who speak different languages. And through doing that, that's going to advance what you know in a very organic way. Okay, now the second point is that these card games that I'm designing are going to expose you to a systematically constructed set of words, vo vocabulary, and linguistic concepts. As I learn more and more about those things, I am kind of... Um, it's kind of like I am pruning a tree. Out of all the things that I learn, I'm kind of selecting the best and the most... Um, I guess as, 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 as I assimilate more and more of what I'm learning, I'm putting more and more of that in a systematic way into the games. And so as you play the games and as you collect more cards and learn what they do, it's going to be like you're following me on my journey into languages and into linguistics. And the last reason that I want to share is that I'm, I'm not only trying to create card games per se, but I'm really trying to create worlds that will immerse you so that when you play these card games, you will lose track of your sense of time. And I think that for a lot of people, they view language learning as a task or a chore, something that they have to do every day at a certain time, and they see it as work. And so I, I think to a certain extent, you can't really escape that, but we also have to consider how we can make it fun so that we'll spend a lot of time doing it and we won't even realize how much time is passing and, and it will become such a part of our daily lives and we don't think about how much time we've spent doing it and we don't ever we don't even think about giving up or changing to something else you know so the card games that i'm making have a lot of additional resources like stories and poetry and videos that i really hope will um make you make you a part of something much greater than just the the simple um, cards that you hold in your hand. Okay, so if anything, if anything I've just shared uh, there now with you sounds good to you, I hope you will go right over to languagecardgames.com and subscribe because everyone who's subscribed to the site receives notifications whenever I release a new game and they also receive coupons to get discounts when I when there's holidays or when I release new games. Thank you so much for tuning in again, and I'll see you back here next time at Language Card Games.